Hey everyone, welcome back to our mystery filled journey. Today we're diving into the intriguing case of D.B. Cooper, a man who vanished into thin air after one of the most daring heists in history. Buckle up, because this story is a roller coaster of mystery and intrigue. November 24, 1971. A man using the alias D.B. Cooper boards Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305. He's our average looking dude wearing a suit and tie. Nothing too flashy. But here's where it gets interesting. Mid flight, he hands a note to a flight attendant. A note of a few words that felt like an earthquake to the whole of America. Now, you might be thinking, what's this guy's deal? And what was in that note? The exact wording of D.B. Cooper's note is not known. But it conveyed that he had a bomb and demanded $200,000 in cash along with a parachute. The note was handed to a flight attendant during the infamous hijacking of Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 in 1971. It was a pivotal moment that set the stage for one of the most mysterious disappearances in criminal history. Stunned, the flight attendant discreetly makes her way to the cockpit, where the two pilots, Captain William Scott and First Officer Bob Ratajczak, are going about their routine duties. She hesitates for a moment, then interrupts their work with a whispered urgency, showing them the ominous note. The pilots exchange a glance of concern as they absorb the content of the note. The realization sinks in that they are dealing with a hijacking, an unprecedented and chilling scenario. The safety of the crew and passengers is now in their hands, and they understand the gravity of the decisions they must make. Maintaining composure, Captain Scott contacts air traffic control to convey the situation, and a delicate negotiation process begins. Meanwhile, the flight attendant discreetly informs other crew members about the unfolding crisis, ensuring that the passengers remain unaware of the danger on board. As the aircraft continues its flight, the pilots grapple with a dilemma. How to comply with Cooper's demands while prioritizing the safety of everyone on board? Little do they know that this event will be etched into history as one of the most mysterious and daring hijackings. Now you might be thinking, what's this guy's deal? Well, after the authorities meet his demands, yes, they actually did. Cooper lets the passengers go at a stop in Seattle, and the plane takes off again with him and the cash. As of the knowledge available, the identity and whereabouts of the men who hijacked the plane, famously known as D.B. Cooper, remain unknown. Despite extensive investigations, numerous theories, and occasional discoveries of possible clues, the case remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in criminal history. Authorities have not been able to definitively identify or locate D.B. Cooper, and this case continues to captivate the public's imagination. D.B. Cooper made his daring escape by parachuting out of a plane over the rugged terrain of the Pacific Northwest. The specific location where he landed remains unknown. In 1980, a boy named Brian Ingram found a decaying package with $58,000 in $20 bills along the Columbia River. The serial numbers matched the ransom money given to Cooper, sparking speculation about his possible fate. The FBI conducted an exhaustive investigation, interviewing suspects and analyzing evidence. However, no conclusive evidence leading to Cooper's identity or whereabouts was ever found. Based on eyewitness accounts, the FBI created a composite sketch of D.B. Cooper. This image has become iconic and is often associated with the mystery. Cooper's choice of demands, including the specific amount of money and parachutes, led investigators to believe he had some knowledge of aviation and potentially military training. Some theories suggest that Cooper may have had military training due to his familiarity with parachutes and the way he planned and executed the hijacking. The case of D.B. Cooper has become a part of American folklore, inspiring books, documentaries, and even fictional portrayals in popular culture. The mystery has left an indelible mark on popular culture, with references to D.B. Cooper appearing in movies, TV shows, and music. The legend of the unknown hijacker persists, contributing to the enduring fascination with the case. Numerous theories abound regarding Cooper's identity, fate, and motivations. Some believe he perished during the parachute jump, while others think he successfully disappeared, living under an assumed identity. In 2016, the FBI officially closed its investigation into the D.B. Cooper case, classifying it as one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the history of American criminal investigations. The flight attendant involved in D.B. Cooper's case was Tina Maclow. Tina Maclow was working for Northwest Orient Airlines and was on board Flight 305 during the hijacking on November 24, 1971. As a key figure in this historic event, Maclow played a crucial role in communicating with Cooper and relaying his demands to the pilots. Her actions were instrumental in managing the situation on board the aircraft during that fateful night. 
Beyond her role in the case, specific personal details about Tina Maklow are not widely publicized, and she has maintained a relatively private life in the aftermath of the hijacking. Following the demands outlined in Cooper's note, the aircraft took off again from Seattle-Tacoma International Airport with Cooper and the ransom money on board. The plane was then directed to head towards Mexico City as per Cooper's instructions. The communication between the pilots, Captain William Scott and First Officer Bob Radicek and the authorities, particularly air traffic control, focused on managing the situation and coordinating the delivery of Cooper's demands. Negotiations were crucial and the pilots worked to ensure the safety of the remaining crew and passengers. The pilots, while complying with Cooper's instructions, also coordinated with law enforcement to address the unprecedented hijacking. The harsh conditions of the jump, including the low temperature and challenging terrain, have led to speculation about whether Cooper could have survived the ordeal. Some theories suggest he may not have made it, but his fate remains unknown. Not all of the ransom money was found. In 1980, a portion of the money was discovered buried along the Columbia River. The circumstances surrounding how the money ended up there and whether it was intentionally left behind remain unclear. The notoriety of the D.B. Cooper case inspired a few copycat hijackings in the years following the incident. However, none matched the level of mystery and intrigue surrounding Cooper's disappearance. Amateur sleuths and cryptographers have attempted to decode letters and messages attributed to D.B. Cooper looking for hidden messages or clues. However, no breakthroughs have been made in deciphering additional information. Some theories suggest that D.B. Cooper might have had connections to foreign intelligence agencies or criminal organizations. This speculation adds an international intrigue to the case. A suitcase belonging to D.B. Cooper was found on the plane after his disappearance. It contained personal items, including a tie and mother-of-pearl tie clip. The suitcase provided some clues, but no direct leads to Cooper's identity. Debbie Cooper has inspired characters and storylines in various movies, TV shows and novels, demonstrating the enduring impact of the unsolved mystery on creative works. The legend of D.B. Cooper lives on as an indelible chapter in criminal history, a tale of an elusive figure who vanished into the night, leaving behind unanswered questions and contributing to the mystique of one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in aviation and criminal lore. The enigma of D.B. Cooper stands as a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown and the enduring allure of a criminal who slipped through the hands of justice, leaving behind a legacy of mystery and speculation.